Every now and then your club makes a signing and brings in a player who you just fall in love with. Well, in February 2000, this happened to me when Ipswich Town broke their transfer record to bring in striker Marcus Stewart. Stewart helped shoot Ipswich to promotion and then tore it up in the Premier League as the key player in their best season since the days of Sir Bobby Robson. In the process, he scored some pretty awesome goals too. My name is Benjamin Bloom and here are my top 10 Marcus Stewart goals for Ipswich Town. Number 10 versus Barnsley away. We go right back to the beginning for the first goal and Stewart's debut away at promotion rivals Barnsley. In typical George Burley fashion, Ipswich had dominated the game and broke through on 59 minutes with a James Scowcroft goal. Then, pretty much immediately from kickoff, Stewart scored his first Ipswich goal. A bad pass out of defence, a Jim Magilton through ball, and our new signing is clear on goal. Would he panic? Hell no. He looks in one corner, drags his foot around the ball, and then totally mugs the defender off on the line by putting it behind his desperate slide with his right foot. What a start. Number nine versus Helsingborgs away. Having finished fifth in the Premier League, Ipswich found themselves in the UEFA Cup the following season. And after defeating Torpedo Moscow, came up against Swedish side Helsingborgs. The first game, a drab nil-nil draw in England, and then Ipswich went behind in the away leg after comedy goalkeeping from Sereni. However, a great second half comeback with away goals from Horidison and Stewart saw Ipswich going to the final minutes of the game with a seemingly unassailable lead. Cue a Matt Holland through ball to an understandably relaxed Stewart and a quite frankly ridiculous chip over Anderson in goal for the Swedes. Number eight versus Huddersfield at home. We've already dealt with Stewart's full debut at Barnsley, but his home debut brought a moment of true football narrative beauty. The game, obviously, was against his former club who'd sold him just days before. Ipswich take the lead through Scowcroft, but then miss a penalty from current Portman Road goal king David Johnson. In true villainous fashion, Huddersfield play their part, equalising to silence the Portman Road crowd and make it 1-1, setting up a nervy finish. And so, for the perfect story on 73 minutes, Jim Magilton plays it to Jamie Clapham. Stewart holds his run. Clapham plays it into Stewart. Instant control with the right foot. Instant finish with the left foot. And an instant fan favourite is born. And the perfect narrative to his home debut. Number seven versus Sunderland away. On New Year's Day 2001, third place Ipswich went to fourth place Sunderland in the Premier League. How times have changed, I hear you say. And this was a time where Sunderland had just claimed their own seventh place top flight finish and very, very rarely lost at home. Five minutes into the game, amidst the frantic Peter Reid opening pressing, Bramble steps out of defence and plays forward to Armstrong. He holds it up for Wilness. Wilness slides it down the line to the bionic runner Matt Holland, who puts an inviting cross in between Sorensen and Stewart. Stewart still has a lot to do and basically has one touch to execute whatever he decides. Of course, he waits for Sorensen to slide out and just dinks it over the top of him fully on the run. Lovely stuff. Number six versus Southampton away. With the Premier League season coming to a close, Ipswich showed no signs of letting up and went into the Sky TV game with a chance to go third. In front of the TV audience, Stuart dazzled with a hat-trick as Ipswich demolished the Saints 3-0. Ipswich went into the second half 1-0 up after Stuart himself finished off a counter-attack with a tap-in and on 68 minutes, Herman Horidison summed up the way the team played that season, showing Ronaldinho levels of dribbling to take up three Saints defenders in one go. Stewart, the master of stealth in the box, drops off and glances a beautiful header over everybody into the far corner. Number five versus Southampton away again. This goal is literally three minutes after the last one on the list. It's 2-0 to Ipswich, live on Sky with the chance to go third. Stewart is on a hat-trick and Matt Holland gets fouled in the box for a penalty. The England manager Ericsson is in the stands, the TV audience is watching. Up steps Stewart. We've had a chip and a dink. So how about Panenka for you too? 
And with that hat-trick goal, Stewart became the first Ipswich striker in 18 years to net 20 goals in a season. And in the process, put Ipswich into third place on live TV. Happy days. Number four versus Barnsley in the playoff final at Wembley Stadium. After three years of losing the playoff semis, Ipswich had at last made it to the final. But in true Tractor Boys fashion, if they were going to win, they were going to do it the hard way. A goal down in six minutes, then getting the equaliser, and then Richard Wright having to save a penalty just to go in 1-1 at half time. The team regrouped, and with David Johnson having gone off injured in the first half, Richard Naylor breaks clear on 52 to finally give Town the lead. Well on top, now was the moment to try and kill the game with a two-goal lead. And of course, Stewart didn't disappoint. A booming ball down the channel by Mark Venus is beautifully pulled out of the sky by Naylor. He waits for the overlapping Clapham and plays it perfectly into his path. Clapham crosses first time, Stewart goes far, Stewart goes near, and then on the run, angles his header perfectly in off the far post. Ipswich in ecstasy, Premier League, here we come. Number three versus Liverpool away. Liverpool 2000-2001. UEFA Cup winners, FA Cup winners, League Cup winners, Premier League third position. They had a pretty good season, so obviously Burley Zipswich went to Anfield in December and won 1-0. And obviously it was a silly goal from Stewart right on half time that secured the win. Like in the playoff final, it was Venus with the long ball down the line. Stewart touches it off to Clapham, who claims his third assist in this top 10, playing Stewart in behind the Liverpool defence. Honcho dives in and Stewart takes it inside him. He goes around Vesterveld in goal and before Carragher can even position himself on the line, it's a first time right footed shot, Stewart's weaker foot straight into the corner. Devastating. Number two versus Bolton away in the playoff semi-finals. We're at the business end of this list and this goal is arguably the most important of Stewart's career. Ipswich had fallen three years in a row in the playoff semi-finals. The fourth year, and it was Bolton again, and a highly rated Sam Allardyce at the helm. The difference this year, Ipswich had gambled a record fee on Stewart to get them over the line. The pressure was on, and it looked like Ipswich were crumbling all over again. The tide barely started, and in utterly disastrous fashion, Town were 2-0 down in just 26 minutes. Both captain Tony Mowbray and top scorer David Johnson had gone off injured. It seemed like everything was going against Ipswich, but record signing Stewart had other ideas and this piece of brilliance pulled Ipswich back into the tie on 36 minutes. Holland juggles with the ball and lifts it over to Stewart, who from way out smashes a staggering volley, curving, dipping and swerving into the top corner past a helpless Jaskalainen in goal. When the chips were down, Stewart made the difference. And at number one, Bolton away in the playoff semis, goal number two. Into the second half and Burley's side were bravely pushing forward to get the scores level for the second game at Portman Road. Chances were going begging and the lack of composure that had cost Ipswich the previous three years was rearing its head again. And then there was Stewart. On 65 minutes, Clapham and Rooster combined to set Stewart through one-on-one -on -one from the edge of the box. And what followed was simply outrageous. Stewart goes through, Jaskaline and comes racing out, and Stewart pulls the same move he did against Barnsley in goal number 10 of this list. Only this time he takes it slightly too far. He stops the ball with his right foot, and with the calmness of a man with ice in his veins, perfectly curls the ball around the two defenders on the line. A virtuoso goal in the most virtuoso individual display I've ever seen from an Ipswich player since I've been watching. Stewart single-handedly dragged the team back into the tie and the rest, as they say, is history. And so that concludes my top 10 list of Marcus Stewart goals for Ipswich Town. Did I get the order right? And did I miss any that you would have put in? Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe here for more ITFC content, including the Blue Monday podcast and my match reviews straight after the game. You can follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom and the man who made this video at Ips Rich. Thank you for watching. What a player. <laughs>